Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Abacus Linear Pendant. This is going to be the double one. This is the 139054. A lot of details, so let's jump in. So let's talk about the size of the fixture itself. And this is going to be a linear fixture with a bit of a depth to it compared to the other Abacus fixtures. This is 49 inches long, and it's 20.5 inches in depth. The overall height which is really going to be from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture, and this is adjustable, is going to be the shortest from the ceiling coming down to 40, the longest to 100, 100 from the ceiling down. If you need this to be longer than 100, just contact me and I can go through some details on customs with you. So when we talk about being adjustable, the cables that are going to be going up into the canopy go into these grippers, and these little grippers allow you to push these in and kind of bring them up where you want to be. They're little weighted balls on the bottoms of these to make them hang straight and how these kind of work is it's a low voltage LED fixture and these are going to act kind of like rails almost like an elevator where the car kind of runs on rails up and down so these spheres these modules are going to be able to go up and down during your installation on the ends of them where the metal parts are there are little brakes so they have grippers too basically so you kind of push them in to release that allowing you to bring these up and down get them where you want them to be you just kind of hold it, release that little gripper, and it's going to stay right in place. It's very cool. Let's talk about the canopy up in the ceiling. So this is going to be 10 inches by 48. Um, thing about the canopy, it's going to be holding a driver and a transformer. Remember, this is low voltage. It's going to transform your line voltage down to low voltage, and it's perfectly safe going down those canopies. Um, 52 pounds all in, so this is a, um, a fixture that needs to be attached to something other than just the junction box. And I want to show you a little bit more detail about that. And how we do it is we look at the installation's instructions. If you're on the page for this on HandmadeInVermont.com, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installation's instructions PDF. Open that up for me. So the nice thing about these installations instructions on all Hubberton Forge fixtures, lots of great line drawings. It's going to show you how the canopy goes onto the junction box. This is just a four inch box. You guys have this in your ceiling. And it shows you how there's other ways to attach it to the ceiling as well. It shows you the transformer inside. It shows you the instructions of how the grippers work and the cables work. Take advantage of these things. They're on every page. It's really a good thing. Okay, let's hop into what's inside of this as far as lumens go and wattage goes and all those good things. So you're going to have these spheres, right? You've got uh, five larger ones, two smaller, oh, actually, other way around. Two bigger ones, five smaller ones. And the larger ones are going to be six watt dedicated LEDs, and the smaller ones are going to be three watt. And I have a schematic here, or actually a drawing with a cutaway, and it's going to show you how you have these light bars with these dedicated LEDs that are built inside of those uh, sphere modules. They're very cool. So all in, you're at 1,990 lumens. That's going to be total for the whole fixture, so it throws quite a bit of light. You'll want to put this on a dimmer. Make sure you tell your installer you're uh, using a dedicated LED so they put the right dimmer on there. Um, I'm going to talk more about finishes later on, but I'm just going to touch really quick the, as far as the pull-down menu for finishes go. So the end caps and the face plate of the canopy are going to be what you... Um, what you can always do with the finishes. Those, those are going to be your choices of finishes. What's called the can of the canopy, which is really the side part that's touching the ceiling, that's always going to be black. So just something to keep in mind. Um, glass. So we'll talk more about opal glass in a little bit, but let's touch on the two different types of glass that this is going to be available in. So you're going to have cool gray. That's going to be very beautiful. It's a clear glass, so you're going to be able to see through it and you're going to be able to see that there's a diffuser that's covering up the dedicated LEDs on the inside. So that's going to be one option. Your second option is going to be the opal glass I mentioned a second ago. That's Hubbardton Forge's opaque glass. You can't see through it. It's a beautiful white powdery uh, glass and you can see that next to me here as well. So I want to touch on Hubbardton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubbardton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass, all of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubbardton Forge, and a lot of people don't 
Um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor. Look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the finishes help guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variants on there in that video, so it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Harbertson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same, and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardton Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section to check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardton Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen. Take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.